This is the new Playmates Toys Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Leonardo. This red-eared slider, Leo is intelligent and quick-witted. He uses his sharp skills to beat opponents, find shortcuts around obstacles, and always knows the perfect time to land one of his many one-liners. Just before we get a closer look at Leo, let's get a closer look at how tall the figure stands. We'll put it right to the top of his head. There we go. And the figure stands 4.9 inches in height. If you are somebody that falls in centimeters, I am. That's 12.4 centimeters in height. The figure comes with some pretty cool looking accessories. We'll look first at the pair of shurikens that come included with it. Looks to me like it is cast in just solid gray plastic. You can go ahead and take the shurikens and you can fit them into his hand like this. Or you can also wedge his fingers. And this is kind of cool. You can kind of have them arched or posed like that. Um, there's no place that I can see in which the shurikens can tuck into the turtle's shell. I guess in theory you could tuck it underneath his belt because this part is a little bit more softer. But I just wouldn't... I just wouldn't want to add a lot of stress to it. So really, there isn't any place that you can house the shurikens if you don't want to have them displayed with that. It's still neat, nonetheless, that he comes included with those. Speaking of neat, get a gander at this. He also comes with a translucent blue plastic uh, skateboard. The skateboard almost seems to mimic that of a shell, a much more elongated shell. And... Luckily, I can tell you that they have rolling wheels, so you can roll them back and forth. This, in some ways, serves also as a nice display base if you want to display the figure on top of it. It's not to say that Leo has any problem standing. I mean, you're looking at him. I'm looking at him. I can see he's clearly not going anywhere. And then watch, of course, irony. Figure gets blown over. But no, the figure stands perfectly fine. But he does come with a really neat-looking translucent uh, skateboard. He also comes, speaking of translucent, he comes included with this translucent blade. His weapons include an Odachi sword. I'm looking at the two, I'm trying to gauge whether maybe they are the same similar type of sword and one just is simply a little bit bigger in size. This one here is translucent and as you can see, it has a nice flame effect whoosh, whoosh, that uh, you can pretend like Leo is slashing with. Um, but again, very similar looking design right down to the hilt itself. The hilt actually is very identical to one another as well. Minus the hair, I just, I included that. There is theoretically a place where you can display the sword on Leo if of course you don't want to display him in his hand. There's this little clip on the back. Now, the way that they put the clip, the clip could have really been afforded to be raised a little bit higher. If it was like right there, it wouldn't be so bad. Because when you attach it, unfortunately the sword runs really low on the figure. It's even more apparent when you get the translucent sword in place. Again, you can plug it in place like there. You could, I guess in theory, plug it up that way as well. But again, you're gonna see this big noticeable sword sticking out. So I kind of wish that the clip was moved a little bit further up. Even if you're taking the smaller Odachi sword, I guess you could put it right there, but I mean, that's adding a lot of stress to that clip. But it, that would be appropriately the right, so, the right space that I think the sword should have been placed at. Uh, both of the swords can be attached into his hand. I guess I wouldn't want to use the term attached. Attached implies for me that I'm, pleg I'm pegging it or plugging it somewhere. But it does fit very comfortably into Leo's hands. One looks a little bit, obviously, a little bit more noticeably larger than the other. This one's a little bit more accurate to size. But I really do like that they give you these translucent weapons as well. And it seems across the board that all the turtles are going to have that as well. Put the accessories aside. We'll just put those right there. Let's have a look at Leo. I'm actually digging the cartoon, I have to admit. The animation style for that introduction into the series, I felt, found it was a little on the jarring side, but I really warmed up to the animation style. It sort of reminds me of Samurai Jack. 
I like the different take that they put on the turtles. And much like the show being so drastically different than what we've seen in previous incarnations of the turtles, each of the turtles are also very different from one another as well, which is the first time I think we've really established that each of the turtles are so different from one another. This would explain why Raphael is so much bigger and broader than, say, the likes of a Donatello. And, of course, why Mike, Michelangelo is always seeming to be much shorter than the other turtles. Now, for Leonardo, he's a red-eared slider. Which, I think, one of their notable traits is that they have a very long sort of shell. And Leo certainly def definitely does have that. These figures are very colorful. Playmates has spared no expense when it comes to certainly uh, detailing the, all the little intricate pieces and sections of the turtle. Um, even on the side, now I don't know what's happening here on the side, whether this should have actually been painted. This here, I think, is a more beige color in the show, or almost like a brownish color. Unfortunately, they've left that off. But everything else on the figure is very well painted, or at the very least, well sculpted. I'm wondering if majority of this stuff are actually individual pieces, like, for example, the front of the shell is a little bit on the softer side. Of course, the back shell, more denser plastic there. Face sculpt and face paint is really nice on Leo. I like these slashes that they've got running through the headband area of his face. He does look very much like he does in the show. Little uh, trimmed back on the very sarcastic smile he seems to sport so often. I like the coloring on him as well. Like I said, this here is a softer plastic. As well can be said for the strap here. And... Uh, He's got his little, I think, is that a communicator? I'm trying to remember here. That nicely painted there, also in green. As to be expected, the figure is very poseable. Uh, one thing that also Playmates does a good job for, for certainly at least the Turtles toys, is they really do make them highly poseable. Loving, again, the sculpting there on the shell. But uh, poseability on this guy. His head rotates all the way around. Hinges up and down. Essentially what it is is there's a ball joint. Let me just show you here. See, right there. Didn't believe me? It's right there. Big ball joint. Big ball joint leads to the socket. Pop that into place. It, ball joint certainly is one of the most affordable, if not also one of the best universal joints to be using on the figure, so I'm glad they, they maintain using those uh, for the heads for their figures. Uh, as for the shoulders, the shoulders are on a socket hinge, or at least a universal hinge in which you can move the arms out, and you can rotate the arms all the way around. Gets a little on the stuck side when you are moving it back to the shell. The shell kind of blocks a little bit of the, motion, the movement back. But at the very least, you can move the arms out. I guess you're really not going to swing Leo's arm any further back than that. And then you can, of course, bring the arm back that way also. Um, he does have a swivel on the forearm, which also allows the forearm to bend via the elbow joint there. And this guarded... A uh, gauntlet that he's got kind of on his arm here also allows you to rotate right there. They've pegged that into place. No waist swivel. Uh, the legs hinge forward and they hinge back. It's one thing I hope that maybe down the road playmates will consider changing. Um, I love that if you use universal joints on the arms, um, I would love to see them also use that for the legs. The legs, essentially what it is, is they're to hinge back and forth like that. But to move the legs, say, this way you got to rotate it this way, if that makes sense. See how the hinges are on the front? As you go like this, rotate it this way, allows the leg to go like this. Um, it does also have a bend at the knee, also rotates the lower leg, and he has rotation in the, fo in the foot as well as a hinge. Not sure if I've already established this, but let's talk a little bit about that quickly. You've got peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Like I said, it doesn't seem to have any problems whatsoever getting Leo to stand. Leo stands perfectly fine. I find generally when I look at the Turtles toys, defaulted, I always seem to jump to doing Leo first, sort of the leader of the group. And even though it feels as if that slightly has changed a little bit for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I still feel as if I'm compelled as a reviewer, to look at Leo always first and foremost. It just kind of is the embedded programming that I've got in my head. Okay, I always want to look at Leo first, but I'm actually glad I looked at Leo first. He's a fun-looking figure. He's going to be a little bit smaller than, say, the likes of Raphael. Don't worry, we'll do comparisons as we have a look at the other rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Again, nice sculpt, nice paint, and nice, pretty cool-looking accessories that Playmates Toys have incorporated with their figures as well. 
And what I do like about this particular lineup as well is if you look at all the figures that are all currently on the peg shelves at toy stores, all the figures look so drastically different. And uh, that's one thing I do like as well. Like you'll have the really, really big turtles, like say for example, I think Meat Sweats, <laughs> what an awesome name, is a considerably bigger figure. So you'll have a much varied different scale. None of them are all gonna look identical to one another. And as much as the appeal of the cartoon, that's also the appeal of this toy line as well. Those looking to pick up Leo from the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy line, good news, him and the rest of the clan are now available in local toy stores and retail stores alike. Sort of like the way that the show has departed drastically from its previous outing, and I have to admit, I didn't really like the earlier CG Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually like two-dimensional animation myself, so this is really up my alley. The animation style, I have to admit, is something that takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it's a fun, action-packed thrill ride. It sort of like kind of reminds me of Samurai Jack. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Um, Playmates has done a good job of capturing, of course, the likeness, and they've always been really good at doing that, capturing the likeness of the turtles and translating it to plastic form. And I think Leo looks really neat. He's got some cool accessories, and uh, certainly he's going to be a very different-looking turtle from the other three brothers, so I'm looking forward to getting those opened up as well. In the meantime, though, Today we were having a look at the Playmates toys, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have to keep remembering to say Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Today we were having a look at Leonardo. Like I said, stay tuned, Bunkos, because we're going to have a look at the other turtles as well as the other rest of the characters that make up the new Playmates line. So if you like turtles, so hopefully you'll like the upcoming videos coming to this channel. One thing, though, is ever so crucial, make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.